Hey, it's John again. I'm playing Immaculate Grid number 465 this evening for Dave Winfield, who hits a number of teams. He hit 465 career home runs, 3,000 hits, and is in the Hall of Fame. He uh, could be a little bit of a sneaky pick for, say, Cleveland and uh, the Angels. Also played for the Blue Jays as well as uh, Yankees and uh, Padres. So, I mean, there's a lot to go off of there. So we'll see if we can work them in. Let's uh, Let's check on that. We'll play the grid now. I'm going to share my screen, which I guess is this one. There we go. I'm going to get rid of grid 89. Messed up on grid 89. For some reason, I put Jeremy Burnett's here. Wasn't favorite player. I knew he didn't play for the Astros. It was uh, Astros were in the NL Central. I knew very well that he did not play there, but for some reason, I uh, threw him in. All right. Let's go. Hopefully better than yesterday. All right. So with, uh, let's see, Randy Wynn hits both these teams. I'm just checking, but no, I don't think I'll get to use Dave Winfield. Daryl Evans for Giants and Braves. Uh, let's see, Giants and Nationals. Uh, same as Giants and Expos. Skip that for a second. Randy Johnson. Greg Maddox. Pedro Martinez. All right. But Wilson Ramos. Javi Lopez. Dan Wilson. And I'm going to go with Mike Stanton. For a score of 61, I should go with Randy Johnson there, obviously. Randy, I used Randy Johnson, but not in the category he was best at. He was uh, 27% for San Francisco and Seattle and 18% for San Francisco and Montreal. He only played a season for each of these teams. Um, or I guess a season and change with the Expos. Uh, and then he concluded his career with the Giants. But he got his 300th win there. He was traded for Mark Langston from the uh, Nationals. So you can you can understand how there's uh, some popularity there. Wilson Ramos, that was an interesting choice. More than Gary Carter. <laughs> um, all right. Well, nothing too crazy here. I did, I was kind of hoping to hold on to because I thought of Mike Stan as I was going through it the first time. And I didn't think of Randy Johnson. I was trying to come up with someone... Uh, to use here. Mike Stanton was 0.1. That's who I should have saved for the rarity round. Oh, well. We'll see what we can come up with. All right. I'm going to share again. And this time I look for the actual grid itself, which it looks like is here. I'm actually reminded that I was uh, contemplating Jose Cruz Jr. He did not play for the Rockies. I would have gotten that wrong. So good thing I bit the bullet on Finley and Herges. All right. There we are. Let's see what we can make of this. So right away, right away Jamie Wright. There he is. Played for the Mariners and the Giants. Sub point one. That's a good start. Looking for any pitcher ever for the Seattle Mariners. But, uh, you know what? I'm actually going to go with him here. I just want to use him. Ron Valone. Point oh six. Uh, let's see here. And then for catcher. About about uh, Henry Blanco? Oh, he's almost a 1%. All right. I see your tricks. Um, I guess that frees me up. I was contemplating using it. Ernie Lombardi here, but he'll also work for the Braves and Giants. 
0.02. Former Brewer pitcher Dan Danny Cobb pitched for the Braves. Also sub 0.1. I'm going to go with uh, Mariner's pitcher. I'm trying to think of an obscure reliever. Oh, Mike Timlin. For point two. That wasn't that obscure. All right. Um... So you need an Expos or Nationals catcher. Or just someone who squatted behind the plate, even for just a game. But thing is, you don't have a lot of, a whole lot of like this will surprise you. This person caught for a game. Uh there's not as many of those options out there. Um I'm sure they exist though. I'm sure they're fascinating. Steve Lyons, for example. Um, Cap Anson played every position. Bullet Rogan played exactly one inning behind the plate. Um, Darren Fletcher is a name that's kind of coming to mind. Michael Barrett was definitely back there for a bit. Neither of the those guys are super rare, I don't think, but. It'll probably be a couple percent if I decimate. Up here, I think I'm going to go with Pat Borders. He takes 2%. Wow. He was a backup catcher, but I, I uh, remember because it would have been probably 04 ish. Paul Molitor was the hitting coach for the Mariners and. Uh, I think Olerud was still on the team and Pat Borders were there, so it was sort of a reunion of the 93 Blue Jays. Um, going back to catcher, though. Catcher for the Nats or Expos. I forget if this is a Rick Cerrone. How about I kind of think it is, but I don't have enough confidence in that. I'm going to go uh, with Fletcher. Darren type. He takes 2%. All right. And then for Giants and uh, Nationals or Expos, um, Andre Scalaraga works. Um, See, this is not a Reggie Sanders combo. It's not Tim Raines combo. It's not a Kenny Lofton combo. It's not an Otis Nixon combo. Um, speedsters like like to move around a lot. So they're they're a lot of fun in these games. Moisalu will work. Will Lou be better than Galarraga? I think Galarraga will be better. He was only a giant for a little bit, like a one time frame. Three percent. All right, so I still go sub ten, but could have done a lot better with these categories. I mean, you look at the number of people who work for each of these uh, positions. I could have gone. I, I'm sure we'll see some ghost scores, but I'll take my fairly run of the mill picks on uh, on the catchers. Um, and then three percent for Colorado is a bit high, but um, yeah, still a decent game. So. Thank you so much for playing. I think I'm going to knock out 90 tonight, and then we'll uh, we'll be all caught up until tomorrow morning when I'll be not caught up again. And then maybe I'll work in some more sporkles and stuff. I have to make sure I don't overlap with a sporkle I've already watched on the JM Baseball channel, which is one of my favorite channels to watch. Um, but uh, that'll that'll be some future content here. So thanks a lot for playing, and we'll be back at it in a bit. Peace.